this is just a super quick video. Um, title may sound like it's cheating a bit. How can you get 100% without getting 100 men? But this is just to explain um, the uniform standard marks, UMS marks, and what you'll actually see on your results. Um, apologies if I sound really croaky. I've got pneumonia at the moment. So on a lovely warm sunny day at the end of August, hopefully you will have the big smile on your face and you're going to get a bit of paper. And for your science, you're going to have four results. Um, this is across all exam boards. Um, and there are going to be some numbers on there which aren't going to be easy to convert back to the sort of numbers you're used to. So I'm just going to explain them. They've converted your raw mark into uniform standard mark. So the idea behind this is that if one year's exam is a bit easier or a bit harder than the next year's exam, an A in one year is still going to be worth the same amount as an A in another year, even if one of the exams was easier. So the UMS marks are out of 100, and the papers for AQA, but this goes across all exam boards, are the exam papers are out of 60, and the coursework is out of 50. So you can see there's some difference between the two there. So if you go to the exam board website, this is what you might see. You're going to have your raw mark across here and your new uniform standard mark up the side here. And you'll see there's this little cap here, which for June 2014, the C3, you only had to get 53 out of 60 to get 100 uniform standard marks. So even if you got 60 out of 60, there's no way you'd be able to tell the difference between that and 53 out of 60. The reason for this is for, um, like I said, adjusting. Some examples are going to be easier than other exams, um, and this is the chance the examiners have to level it off. We don't know these in advance. These rules set afterwards, um, and they change for every single year and for um, every single exam. So, is this fair? Um, now, there are a number of ways you can combine grades to get your overall grade. You can give each grade a single number, add the numbers up, and then divide by four to get your overall grade. EMS marks makes this a little bit fair. So here I've got two examples. They've got the same grades as um, the previous page, a B, an A, a C, and an A star. But here, I've put them with the lowest possible mark available for um, that unit. Converted it into the UMS marks, and overall, if you got the lowest possible mark for each of these um, units here, so you just scraped a B, you just scraped an A, just scraped a C, and then just scraped an A star, overall, you'd come out with a B. However, this person down here got the highest possible marks for all of the units, and they got the highest possible UMS marks, added them all together, and this person here got an A. And if we look at the differences here, especially this one, 48 out of 60 and 60 out of 60 is quite a big difference in actual raw marks. You wouldn't be able to tell that from the grades, but if we look at the UMS marks, this person's obviously done a lot better. They've got a lot more marks than the other person, so they deserve that A. So what does it mean for you? In effect, this doesn't really affect you unless you want to go back and um, look at your results at the end. Um, it just means that if you have a bad day, you can still get a good grade. Um, I I remember a really, really horrific A-level biology exam where I, I basically passed out straight away as soon as I got into the exam hall because I was very, very ill. And um, I still managed to get a B in my uh, biology A-level because of everything um, else being taken into account. It was modular back then. Um, but it just means that one bad exam doesn't have to ruin your whole GCSE or your A-level. So could this be a bad thing? Yes, it could be a bad thing because of the way um, things are divided up. Um, th this is getting really quite technical now. But we have our biology, our chemistry and our physics and this is gonna be your coursework down here. Um, your biology all gets added up across this way, chemistry across this way, and chemistry across this way if you're doing triple, or it can be as core additional and further additional. Um, and what this means is, especially if you're going down these routes here, which I know quite a lot of uh, single and double and some triple students are, um, one, sorry, 
one bad um, exam or one bad teacher can um, affect things quite a lot. Um, so you need to be careful for that. You need to watch for that. Um, and you need to use resources like YouTube, which are available to help you through that. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.